So, to start the vlog, my wife's still asleep right now. I've been seeing kind of a problem, and I don't know how to go about that problem, but we were, this all started probably about four, five months ago at the start of COVID, and I started seeing how she reacted differently to certain things I was saying, and then she started bringing like something home all the time, and then she started bringing like someone home almost every day, and I, like I'm not no relationship expert. Okay, just put that out there. So I don't know. I didn't know how to go about it. I just like I didn't want to encourage her, but I didn't want to like disappoint her um, in just like our relationship. So like I don't know if I was good enough or if she was getting bored or I I don't know. It's become a problem. She has brought someone home almost every day, and these someones are taking over our house. Here, 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 here. We go in here, oh wait, don't forget this big guy right here. Here, yeah, that one, we had a long talk about this one. Here, 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 here. So anyways, you get the point. It's become I love her. I really, I really do. I really do. We just have so many plants now and we just don't have the space. So your boy's trying to find a bigger space, but like we not we're not out of this place until like April. So we gotta figure out how to navigate space. How to like I might have to call in NASA. I think NASA, they're really good at like putting stuff in the space shuttles and then like really categorizing everything to where it just fits perfectly and they can maneuver and move around and do all kinds of activities all the time. So I might have to call them, I don't know. So a lot of people ask me, why did I move to Portland? Honestly, I don't know. Realistically, I just wanted a new source of adventure. I really, yeah, I just wanted something new. Uh, well, if I'm gonna be frank with you guys, the reason I moved to Portland, I gotta make sure my speakers are turned down, because if not, I will get copyright problems, because that is the Chainsmokers playing in the background. One of my favorite bands. Anyways. I think the whole reason I moved to Portland was to get something fresh. I think to just start new. So honestly, it was gonna be the West Coast. I didn't know which place on the West Coast, but I wanted to be out here because I just wanted to experience it for myself. I wanted to take on something new and know if I was gonna succeed or not. That's kind of why I wanted to do it because I wanted that thrill of the chase of like not knowing if it was gonna work out and if it didn't work out, awesome. I was going to make it work because that's what I wanted. I wanted that kind of new challenge. And I played sports in high school. I played a ton of basketball. That's like what I grew up doing. And I think what it happened was once I left that and kind of went through college and played around, did some intramurals, did some like climbing, did a lot of outdoor stuff, but I didn't have that competition or that chase of something new. And college, the classes weren't gonna be that for me. Like that wasn't gonna be a challenge or a challenge. It was just pass or fail. That's pretty much what happened. But I needed that new life challenge where it was like something I could wrestle with, something I could try to make work and it would be on me to make it work. So now that you know why I actually moved out to Portland and it's been about two years and you're probably like, Matt, why are you making this video now? You should have made this video a long time ago. Sorry, I was not on YouTube yet, okay? so. Give me a break. Now that I'm really thinking about it, Portland was also where I kind of set my foundation in video. And it wasn't until I moved here to Portland that I actually started doing video seriously. So I've only been doing video seriously for only about three, three and a half years, maybe. And let me tell you, those first couple videos were awful. Like, I look back now and I'm like, why? Why did I post this? And it's funny because after you look back at those old posts and you see those things and you're like, man, who was I? Or what was I doing? And similar to like my last video where I was talking about how I kind of lost myself. 
it was cool to be able to see what I came out here for in general and it was just to be more creative and for me to get better at making videos. And it made me kind of take a step back and realize how grateful I am for Portland and this city and what has, it has taught me so far and the people that I've met that have been superstars in my life so far and probably will be for the rest of my life. This place is actually what helped me build like my foundation in video. Um, I knew at this point that since I moved and I was trying to build my own brand slash work for other companies and work for other agencies, I needed to know video. So I got like, I dove in head first, was teaching myself, was learning all these new things about cameras, was like applying them, was using them in music videos, was using them and working for free. Like, guys, I can't tell you how many jobs I've done in the past that I did for completely free. And people that are like, you should know what you're worth, you should always charge from the get-go. Um, to be honest, you're not that good when you start. And I think also the client knows. So people aren't gonna pay a ridiculous amount for a video that they know is probably not gonna be as good as if they paid a ton of money for someone with years and years of experience in video and that's all they do. So just throwing that out there, like for people that are like, you gotta get paid from day one. I wouldn't have gotten to this place now also if it wasn't for the free jobs and free like projects that I took in the past that have built me to where I am at today. I think that is like, the best thing for people wanting to get into a craft or into a service um, and they're wanting to like do this for their career or for a full-time gig like offer yourself for like little to nothing to start and then show them your value like upfront work for however many months or weeks it takes to prove to them that you are good and you are worth paying for this much more and they are so excited to have you part of the team um, I think that's a great approach. That's how I personally did it and it's worked pretty well for me. Um, it's not always easy taking those free projects and having to work like two or three jobs, but you just gotta do what you gotta do. Um, just saying. Thank you so much for watching guys. Um, if you haven't yet, subscribe down below. Got many more videos to come. And yeah, I'm gonna uh, go French press this coffee because it's been in that coffee thing for a while now. Actually for the duration of that whole interview just now of me sitting there telling you of why I moved to Portland. So it's probably gonna be super strong. Let's see how this goes. And it's five o'clock on a Sunday. I've gotta to get to bed, but that coffee cannot go to waste. So, <laughs> run it. Hold, 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 hold. Turn left, turn left. Yeah, yeah. Go Jeff, go and go. We're off the <laughs> races. Tell the Naga, baby. <laughs> oh.